All right, guys, and welcome back to Brave Fencer Musashi, episode 17, I believe. So, we are here, back, back in the action, using our exploits. <laughs> so, just a quick recap, so, uh, a little bit of time has passed in between the time that I recorded this initially and now, and, um, yeah, I have, uh, got a few improvements on the stream, we are live in HD in full screen mode, um, I've done a couple things here and there, wow, picked up that Minku pretty fast. <laughs> yes, we will take it. Longevity Berry. Maximum HP increased by 25. HP are fully restored. Awesome. So, while I was doing my test record and exploring around, I found this little secret passage here in the trees. And I remembered there was a passage like that in the game, but I wasn't sure where it was at or anything like that. Um, for anybody who didn't see the special shout-out menu, Sorry, shout out video. I have this move now. There you go. The Shishki Bob. That is the. It's one of the techniques you get from Lumina. That is the thing you get from watching Clown Weenie and Sausage's performance. And uh, I made a special vid for that for um, Lucian. Lucian Izawe. Maybe I'd say that right. But anyway, yeah, he reminded me. Um, at work about that, like, oh yeah, you already have the uh, clown guy, and I was like, what? No, I don't, and sure enough, he was right, so I made a little three-minute video on it, and yeah, just, uh, that has been accomplished, so, yeah, also, uh, some other improvements to the recording, which I hope you guys, uh, will enjoy, is the, um, what else, what else, oh, the microphone, I got a 48 volt power supply for the microphone because I didn't know this, but I'm using a pretty basic laptop here and the mic has, requires a certain amount of power delivered to it from the motherboard and the laptop just doesn't supply that, so that is why the audio doesn't sound as clear as I think that it could, but you know, without changing the microphone just by getting the power supply, I think the audio sounds a lot better. At least, you know, coming from the mic. And we're also playing on the PS3 uh, zoomed in here. I don't know if I like the full screen mode or not. Uh, looks looks alright. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Whether or not you like this style or the regular 4x3 style. Still be in HD, but the resolution will be changed. Um, yeah, so. Hopefully you guys will enjoy those improvements to the recording try and bring the best quality out here as possible. <laughs> Peep the new logo. <laughs> so, anyway, back to the game. Where the hell are we? What are we doing? Oh, um, I wanted to quickly uh, show off. Uh, I didn't press record on this. I think that's the dead end. Um, but the area where I got the L goggles is here in Somalet Forest. Um, this is one of the early areas you can explore in the game. You might remember I did the hop thing around here. So, get out of here. So this is the water crest. And I uh, threw it up here, boom, water drains out of here, come down, open the chest, and boom, got the L goggles. The L goggles allow you to appraise items automatically so you don't need to go to Connors to get them appraised, but you still need to go to him to get them sold. So it's kind of like, uh, <laughs> it, it, oh, right through the world, damn. <laughs> Your existence was erased. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, you can. That's where you get the L goggles from. So we have shown that off. There was also a treasure chest on Twin Peak Mountain, which I may or may not have recorded. Uh, there's been a, a couple changes here uh, since I did my initial thing. But uh, let's just move on with the story. I think we've cleaned up most of what we need to clean up. Got that Minku that I discovered? Look at you, who are you talking to? Shaking hands? Here. Here. Talk to me? <laughs> Aren't we blessed for having the well so near us? And having that little Masashi who actually, you know, restored it? <laughs> Sheesh. Alright. Let's talk to the mayor's wife. Mrs. Govan, because the mayor's feeling sick. Mrs. Govern, did you change your mind? Will you be the mayor? <sighs> uh... 
what can I say? <laughs> All right. Um, what can I say? Well, at least I tried. <laughs> uh, what can I say? But uh, you're not going to saddle me with any more of your problems. Nah, we've got to do it. Did you change your mind? Will you be the mayor? All right, I'll do it. Really? That's wonderful. There will be no salary and no benefits, but all the problems. <laughs> well, actually, you'd be his assistant. Mm hmm. Let's see. Your first job is extremely important. Everyone lives. Everyone's lives depend on this. Lives? Do you mean the dried up well? Fix it before coming here. Dear me, what a good boy. That must be why that rope disappeared. Uh, yeah, because it'd be dangerous if somebody tried to go down into the well. While I was down there, I saw the thieves who stole the bell, but they ran away. Oh, how dreadful. Lately, there are so many unfortunate incidents. Well, are you ready for your next assignment? You see, if we had caught the thieves, we would have locked them in the stocks and not fed them. Hopefully crows would have eaten them. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Mr. Lands has been complaining about getting the gondola fixed for quite some time now. You talking about the crazy motherfucker in the bar? Oh, no, the other crazy guy in the bar. Yeah. So let's fix it. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Mayor Gomez said that we need three carpenters and a gondola gizmo. Once we have them, the gondola can be fixed. Three carpenters. I'll ask the geezer at the palace, but how do I get a gondola gizmo? I heard there are gondola gizmos in the scrap depository in the mine. Scrap depository? Like a garbage dump? Wid, the man living in the windmill, knows about gondola gizmos. You should ask him. But first, you should talk to the carpenters. Good luck. I'm counting on you. All right, we've got our assignment. So, want we'll to talk to Wid? I think it's a little late in the day to talk to him because you got to come like early in the morning. I'm not sure. Uh, shit, I'm kind of already committed to this action. Uh, balls. Uh, let's let's go up in there. Sell this guy that pot we yeah, got. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? A large pot. You know the bag. Will you praise us? Sell. Large pot, 470. Take that. Quit. What else do you want? Satin. Now that I got the L goggles. Seems our misfortunes will never end. You got the L goggles. You, my job is useless. No one else brings me stuff. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's try for a win. I don't think he's up yet. Or oh yeah, he is. Lucky day. You again. <laughs> You're awake. Amazing. It's because you woke me up so many times. <laughs> My time clock screwed up. What do you want? <laughs> I know the feels. I need to know about the, the scrap depository. The garbage dump. <laughs> oh, you mean the scrap depository? It's a storage place for items that aren't used anymore. The king doesn't like to throw anything away. Why do you ask? I'm looking for something called a gondola gizmo. Ah, so you're helping out the village. Take care not to overexhaust yourself. <laughs> but nobody else will help you. Uh, so... Did you find the gondola gizmo? Why do I need... Is that... Is that it? He had nothing... No... <laughs> not where it's at, nothing? Uh, get off, get off. No, I want to talk to Mr. Lactor, the buddy. Thank God. Anything new, young man? heard that the mayor isn't feeling well. That's because he doesn't eat bread made with my wheat. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Where else does he get bread? I mean, it seems like kind of an enclosed community, right? So, I mean, if he's not eating the bread from your wheat, where, what else could he possibly be eating? Nobody else is doing it. Oh, my grandson. <laughs> All right. To the palace. Talk to the geezer. And then we'll go down that well. <laughs> I guess we can also check in with the weaver to see if she's finished making our L cloth into the L quilt. Let's see what the... <laughs> I don't remember his name, actually. Hey, geezer! I have to find the three carpenters in order to fix the gondola. Stuart Ribson, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, Ribson. <laughs> Now, Art will fix the gondola? Actually, one second, fellas. I'm looking at the levels here on the mic and... <laughs> Pro tip, by the way. Let's set that down just a little bit more. Okay, how's that? Alright, pro tip, by the way. 
something I didn't know. Microphones have a front and a back. The part with the label is the front, the part with the back is not. They don't look, they look symmetrical, like there's no indicating factors other than that, so. I just noticed I was uh, peeking the audio out a little bit, so hopefully that will uh, make it even. Alright, so, back to this. Thou art will fix the gondola? How good of the thou? Yeah, yeah, I'm not even getting paid for it. Shouldn't you be looking for the princess massage instead of doing this good Samaritan stuff? He's like, nah, forget about that for now. Fuck it. Our food positions have been on the decrease since the gondola broke it down. Let's see. You've already saved Carpenter Carvey, Carpenter Cube, and Carpenter Dicey. Carvey, Cubey, and Dicey. Different cuts, okay. <laughs> they all doth be here. Ask the three carpenters and then go look for the gondola gizmo. When they receive the gizmo, they will begin preparations to fix the gondola. Anything else, Sir Musashi? Thanks to the 26 out of 35 people. Yes. Uh, Butler. Can't wait to get some more uh, musicians. Alright, buddy, what's happening? Carpenter Carvey, Gondola Gizmo. Well, I remember that the rim is gold and looks. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. I remember now. I'm gonna need to remember the hints uh, that these guys give you because Musashi can only carry one of the Gondola Gizmos, and there you have to. There's so many different down there, like wheels. It's like a hub, like a an old hub cap rather. Gold and look fancy. So I'm gonna take pictures of these guys. <laughs> Cell phones make it a lot easier, instead of having to take hand notes. Carpentry. That's why you need the three carpenters to tell you what which one to get. Carpenter QB. Gondola Gizmo. It looks like a wheel. <sighs> Come on. What does that mean? Looks like a wheel. So it's it's round and not square. Is that all? Looks like a wheel. Hmm. I remember doing this a couple times. Like even when I had all the hints going down there. Anyway, we'll see what they do. Carpenter C. This guy looks like the only one who actually works. Carpenter Dicey. Gondola Gizmo. The Gizmo has a carefully calculated holes. I think there are four. Okay. Four carefully calculated holes, which probably means they're evenly spaced. So, fancy with gold rim, round, four calculated holes. And, uh, let's see what the... If the weaver is finished with our awesome quilt. My hero. I'm sorry, but I need more time. Goodbye. No problem. We'll come back maybe tomorrow. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. You'll change your mind, girl. Take us care yeah. on your journey. To the village. Now, where was the scrap repository? I think you have to go down to that area with the worms uh, in order to access it. Could be dead wrong about that, but I think that's right. Uh, so you gotta go right. Right? Yeah. I explored the rest of this for the most part. I think I'm... Uh, if we have to do some cleanup at some point, it's okay. We'll we'll make it happen. Get past that fucker and let him poison us without getting some kind of antidote. Ah, uh, yes. Very slick. Kind of nice to have this thing on a full screen for sure. Uh, Kind of reminds me how the game uh, looked back in the day. I still think, um, and some people have uh, reported this, that the games that were made for a uh, CRT TV um, don't look as good in HD TVs just because it's not what they're made for, which I can totally uh, agree with, especially having done some of this recording. I can definitely uh, see how the different formats can make a big difference visually. I. Um, I hooked into Sega Genesis the other day, and I have a analog Elgato recorder, so I used that. And I was playing. Um, I think 
this is the way, right? No, wait a minute. I think it's the other way. It's like down. Anyway, so I, I hooked in the Sega Genesis and I played NBA Jam and I couldn't even read the menus. And I'm like, eh, the resolution wasn't this bad back in the day. Like, I know I played on a pretty small TV, but uh, I could still read the menus. Sorry, I just need your life force. There we go. Get out of here. I have the Desperado attack as well. Ah, see, there's no way you were gonna get past that before. Ugh. Look at that fucking putrid, toxic mess. Good to go. <laughs> yeah, I definitely know like the uh, having the antidote makes huge help. Helps us significantly. Oh, this isn't that bad to get to. Uh, okay, so four holes should be this one. It's the only one. Looks like a wheel, gold rim, four holes. Or is it this one? Carefully calculated holes. Uh, which one looks more like a wheel? And what kind of wheel? Like a steering wheel? Ah, uh, shit. Let's try this one. Found it! This could be the gondola gizmo! This is it for sure! Found the gondola gizmo. It's so heavy that he can only hold one. Pretty heavy! Can't wait to show the geezer! Wait a sec. Maybe this is the gondola gizmo. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, fellas. I'm gonna check my notes real quick. All right, we are back, fellas. Um, I said that the rim is gold, fancy wheel. So it won't be. It won't be that one. Uh, let's just take this one. I think this one might be it. Uh, I do remember doing this multiple times though, back back when I was a kid, like being uh, kind of frustrated having to run up and back and down with this thing. But it's honestly not that far. <laughs> I, you know, there was a uh, a meme I saw not long ago talking about how as kids we had more patience for games, and I feel like that's definitely true. Because <laughs> like. I was playing um, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. I was thinking about doing maybe just like a one-off playthrough of it, but I was surprised at how uh, long the load times were. I'm playing it on the original PS2 like it was intended, and it's like, man, there's a ton of loading here. It's a little bit ridiculous. Let's see, I could go out through the water area, maybe? I don't know. Let's try that, actually. Let's see where that leads. Struggling to remember. Where's this go? To the underground lake? Oh wait, no, 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 no. That takes you where you get the uh, flower that blooms for Tim. So that's nothing. Climb it. Climb it. Okay. <laughs> Ironic, you won't even be able to get past. You won't even be able to get back up to this part about the double jump. Uh so I guess I have to go this way. Even with a double jump I couldn't get up there. So if you go this way, this leads you in a big circle, right? Put spikes on those. Hmm? What sadistic son of a bitch? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I 
Oh, the, the glorious double jump. Uh, whoa! <laughs> yeah, I was talking about, uh, patience uh, when we were kids for video games. I mean, like, most of the... <laughs> Most of the NES games, I mean, most of those were fairly repetitive in a way. I mean, not in a negative way, but I mean, most of those were pretty difficult games that required you to, you know, you're going to have to try it again and again and again and again. Like, that was all part of the experience of uh, playing the game. But I just feel like, you know, back in the day, you just, hey, you got a game? The game is what the game is. <laughs> With the exception of a couple games, like Orphan, for example, you know, if a game was bad, then it was just bad. <laughs> you know, there really wasn't much more to it than that. Ah, Masashi, already tired. Come on, fight through. Hopefully I got this. It would be great if I got this in one try. You can't do that dashing attack if you can't dash. Yes. All right, let's go. Could use one of my mints. Could take a nap. Fuck that. Sleep for free at the castle. Let's see if we got what we wanted, though, first. Is it? I found the gun on the gizmo, I fucking hope. This is it! Yes! Good. I'll go tell the carpenters. How many times did I get the... Nope, that's not it, Musashi. Nice. I'll tell the carpenters to begin fixeth the gondola. Thou should get some rest. Okay, I'll go take a nap in my room. Later, geezer. That is exactly what I'm gonna do, actually. <laughs> Hella juiced. Uh-oh! Overslept! Mrs. Govern's gonna be mad! <laughs> what do you mean? Why would she be mad? <laughs> Just fixed all their problems. 22? 10 p.m.? Damn, overslept. <laughs> You're not fucking kidding. <laughs> overslept, yeah. A little. Oh shit! Oh shit! The village is on fire! Musashi, help! My goodness, there's a fire! Oh no! Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Calm <laughs> down! You know how this happened? I don't know, you must put out the flames! Everyone's locked inside their houses and they can't get out! Oh my gracious, please, you must hurry! I wish I'd fucking saved. Leave it to me, lady. I'll use the water scroll and get this fire will be a thing of the past. Don't worry. Timer? Yeah. Uh, not so bad. Fuck. No, come on! Oh dear me, please forgive me for sinning. Relax. Everything's not always, uh... Come on! What? What the? Uh, what the hell? Hmm. I guess the guy doesn't want this church saved. But no, come on. What what's happening? Oh. All right. Well, I'm an idiot. As soon as I, you know, realized how dumb I was being, you can just hold down the button. For some reason, I thought you had to tap it. 
I really did, but... Well... Uh... Foolish, foolish McGall. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go move on to the rest of the village. Sorry guys, hope you guys weren't burning uh, too long. <laughs> okay. What else have we got? Whoa! Let's be trapped inside your house. Did you leave your daughter? Ah, the villages will be overbaked. Overbaked? Come on, there's more important. Where's Jam, you selfish bastard? Are you serious? He's like, oh, Masashi's doing something. Let me get in his way. No, you can move. Hold on, Hilda. I'll save you and I guess Tim too. Okay, this is a stone building. Immune to fire. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, probably the mayor's uh, place as well. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's just, maybe 22 is the default time. Like, it's always going to be 22 no matter what. How can I forget that you can hold this down? I made that water fight way longer than it had to be. Ah, uh, my house, my rice field, don't worry. There we go. Saved him. <sighs> Took long enough. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> GP. Successfully fails. <laughs> what on all the flames? What a relief. Why'd this happen? Do you know what caused the fire? Let's see. Well, I saw two men staring at the roof of the church talking about something. They didn't look like tourists. Oh dear me, I have to go home and see if Mayor Governor's alright. I just noticed your house didn't catch on fire. Hmm. Two men hired by the mayor to steal Masashi's fame? Here's his roof. Hey, then it must be those two thieves that I saw beneath the well. They're gonna pay for what they did. <laughs> two men, two swords. It couldn't be simpler. Just a little bit of the game of death. <laughs> Evil Musashi. Let's uh let's go ahead and save it. Wait, it's Sky Day. I mean it's all discounted. Welcome! Make, Make yourself, yourself at home. home. What's happening? Mint has her mindset on going to the beach with Tim. I don't understand. The last time I took her, she started bawling when she saw the large slug like bolter. <laughs> uh, would you like anything else? Make myself at home? Let us save it. I think maybe we can hit the bar real quick, but uh, we will start that off in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're liking the comment, feel free to leave a like, so feel free to subscribe, and I always appreciate feedback. Let me know what you think of the new layout and new style so far in terms of gameplay experience for me. It's really working out pretty good. So. Uh, let me know uh, what you think. Also, if anybody's curious about how to record in HD from the PS3, which can be a little bit of a headache, <laughs> let me know that as well. I'll uh, maybe provide something in the description. Uh, there's a ton of videos. Anyway, we'll get off track. So, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. See ya, fellas. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother...